You eat soup or you drink soup? So basically when I came back, my body fat was at 21.8%. Uh, my weight was at 92 kilos. I'm um, currently just saying 101. And uh, my body fat... Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is... Yuri the Incredible, Incredible, Incredible. What is going on everybody? Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Yuri the Incredible. Representing that incredible apparel. Damn, that was a kind of a loud one, right? So I'm just excited to show you the progress that is made with a Big Wiz. It's not just Wiz anymore, he's big again. So just to show you that consistency is key. Consistency is everything. If you stick to your diet, if you stick to your training plan, and if you stick to the incredible, hey, hey, no, but I mean, I can't take any credit for that because he put in the work. Um, can't take any credit for that because he was hungry. Can't take any credit for that because he he was just big ways. He wanted to get back to where he was, to his form. So now we're trying to surpass that form, right? So that's exactly what we're doing right now. So I'm just excited um, to take that in and we'll see what happens. I'm at the petrol station right now, getting fueled up. I don't know if you guys notice, but hopefully you guys notice. It's a little bit clearer. It's a little bit HD. It's a little bit, yeah, I got a new a new phone so um i think i'm gonna be able to record a little bit better quality hopefully the sound what i look like i got something on my lip but i don't whatever that is i guess the hd is showing me some showing me flames but yeah um hopefully you guys um will enjoy it a little bit better a little bit uh pleasing to the eye if you will so yeah that's my view right there just pulling it up right there because i'm one of that those guys that have to wait for that red lights to go on before I uh, put in more petrol it sucks but yeah I shouldn't do that but that's exactly what I do so when driving I'm kind of scared I'm like am I gonna run out of petrol right now am I gonna do that so not for the chit chatting and not for the rambling you know what time it is right time to go to work Like I said, he's not just ways anymore, he's big ways. So we're just gonna ask him a few questions like, what has changed? How long has it been? How long has it been since we started this whole journey? Uh, this is the beginning of week 13, eh? so it's been three months. Okay, three months. So we started off at how many um, body fat? What is your body fat? So percent? basically when I came back, my body fat was at 21.8%. Uh, my weight was at 92 kilos. I'm um, currently just saying 101. And uh, my body fat stands 9.8%. So. so, see, guys, consistency is key, right? If you get your diet right, you work hard, you know, we can be like big ways again. Look at his shoulders. While well, you can't see because he's wearing a, a t shirt, but I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get him to show you when we get inside sometimes. Don't worry. Okay, guys, so what do we decided to do? We decided to do with that, we decided to do back, right? So, we always start off warm up set. In there. Look at that, those pythons. We only start off with um, the pull ups, so it's my turn, and yeah, let's get it. You must remember this when you do back, your back is an intricate part of your body, it's one of the biggest muscles you can in your on your body. It comes off the legs, right? Because legs is off your body, but anyway. It, it has so many muscles that you've got to hit every angle. So when we work our back, when we work our back, we go in both to the wall. So um, yeah, I'm going to show you my sit and yeah, we're going to see what happens. But if you look behind me, well, you can't probably see, but the gym is hella packed. Hella packed. So I'm going to go do my sit and here we go. This is a 30 rep set guys, so the last 10 reps really get you, especially the angle that he's doing it at. It's very awkward, you've got to come in straight behind the head, so it's a bit more tough than the others. I'm going to pan 
the camera around and so that you guys see how full the gym is. Look at that. Look at that. So to so find this machine was a mission. Yeah, that's a warm-up. As you guys can see. He's changing the grips so we we all about volume huh we all about volume I don't know if you guys saw that but sometimes I had my eyes closed what that means is was not because it's too heavy I wanted to get that mind muscle connection so I closed my eyes to kind of feel like the tape filled in my back just like yeah that's why I close my eyes and make it work because when you have the good mind muscle connection you can activate some some good muscle fibers in your back and um, yeah so as you guys can see um, I'll explain exactly why we do the things that we do we started with the, the warm-up, the pull-ups, just to we'll get the, the blood and stuff in our back. And then we went to the lat pull-down. That was to get, you know, to work out the lats. That's the width of the, the back. We're doing some rows now. That's the thickness of the back. So once you're a wide, thick back, you know, like a freaking silver back. Right there was all the compound movement, the heavy lift. So now we're gonna do the accessory movement just to get all the details and stuff in the chest, not in the chest, in the back. Sorry. And what we're gonna do, well, you're gonna watch him do it. See what he's doing, he's stretching, contracting his lats, stretching, and straight after that, like I said, I'm always about volume. So straight after that, look at that. Come on, wait. Pull the ropes. All angles in the back. Got to attack. Squeeze. So that will be in the center of your lower back that he wants to squeeze. So with the ropes, guys. Teamwork. Look at it, exaggerating the stretch because that's what you want to do. Nice. over here. Look at that. After every workout, what we do is we call some calls. You can't see it, but we're making these bad boys grow. So we're trying to target all angles. Some people say this doesn't work. Some people say it does work. So when you move your toes around, so can you see that he's moving his toes around? I don't know if you guys can hear me because they decided to put the volume so high on this one of these classes. So yeah, you'll see when I do my. How's that? <laughs> in the bag in the box rather so um you know it takes a it takes a while right what that means is like uh, it's a progression 
um, it's like building a house. I heard this, I don't know who said this, but um, it's like building a house. Every session is like you putting a brick on top of another brick. Eventually it's the walls gonna be up and then whatever else, the roof, it's like building a house. So we lay down another brick. So that was a good session, a good back, back session. So I'm actually at home right now. Uh, I just need to put the car in the garage and um, I need to eat. Um, I usually can't eat after training. I don't know why. I don't know if anybody feels the same way. Straight after training, I can't eat, right? So what I do is I make a, a shake. Um, by this time, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie like in the last video. Um, I don't know if it's the last video, but then you guys saw um, I got myself a new blender and stuff like that. Make myself smoothies and then when that goes in, a protein smoothie and then when that goes in, I'm gonna have something to eat and um, take it easy and I still have to go do some cardio so can you see it's dark out there but it has to be done if it was easy everybody would have been like ripped or something along those lines so with that being said um let me go inside and get something to eat so I was talking about uh, making a smoothie so I've got my ingredients right on the countertop right now I'm gonna show you guys um as soon as I flip the camera over um what I, I don't know if you guys can hear the background I've got my phone going over there um, watching some YouTube barbell brigade to be exact I've got that going on there I've got my blueberries I got my yeah um, raspberries I've got my whey protein I've got my oats over here I've got the, this is like the, the cup where I'm gonna put everything in I've got my fat free um, yogurt as well as some um, casein protein as well. So I'm just gonna blend everything up. And obviously over there I've got the ice. And that's the guns, ah, that's me obviously. I don't know I'm gonna do this with one hand. Let me just turn this, sheesh. Thing that I forgot to put on the counter is um, peanut butter. There we go. Take that peanut butter, put just a teaspoon of peanut butter in there. So I'm gonna close everything up, pack it all away, and blend it. One more thing to get everything going, gotta have some, some water. So depending on how thick you want it. So you put enough water for him that you want it to be like a yogurt type of type of thing. You don't put in a lot of water. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna it's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste good. Just gonna see what it looks like. So from what you saw to this, um yeah, if you want, if I want it a little bit runny, I'd have added more, more water in there. So I like to eat it with a spoon, so that's why it's like that. Mm. So this is basically a full meal. It has protein, it has um, carbs, it has, um, I just didn't put spinach. So, it has fat. Oh, it's nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 lovely. Lovely if I may say so myself. Mm. So I'm gonna have that. I don't know if I could say I'm gonna eat this or I'm gonna drink it, whatever it's in between eating it and and, um, and drinking it. Oh yeah, just one thing that came to mind. Do you eat soup or you drink soup? Because I mean, some soup has chunks in it, so you chew it. So technically, you're eating it, right? Or you drink it? If you know, comment below. <laughs> I wanna drink or eat this thing. So. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Yuri Da. Incredible, 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 incredible.